Now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today Saint Irenaeus, a newly proclaimed doctor and teacher of the church. We pray that through his teachings and example, we might find peace, unity, and harmony in the Church. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy. I brought upon you such an upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire. Yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hallelujah, 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 H
Alleluia, Alleluia. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in His word. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today Saint Irenaeus. And just recently, this year, Pope Francis declared him as one of the doctors of the church. When you are recognized as a doctor of the church, and there are only a few, it means that you are a great teacher. Your writings, your preachings contain very important teachings in the church. And Pope Francis gave him a title. His title is Doctor Unitatis, the doctor of unity, because his preaching always fostered harmony, unity, and peace. That is why his name, Irenaeus, means peace in Greek. Kung ang pangalan ninyo ay Ireneo, o kaya kapag babae, Irene or Irene, your name means peace. But let us go back to the teachings of St. Irenaeus. If he is the doctor of unity, according to him, how can we have unity and peace? According to St. Irenaeus, the source of this unity is error. That is why, for him, the source of unity is always truth. Unity and truth go hand in hand. Kaya nga, kapag nagsimula ka ng magpakalat ng chismis, nako yan na ang simula ng away. Kapag nagpasimula ka na nagpakalat ng hindi totoo, yan na nagkakaroon ng pagkakabahabahagi. St. Irenaeus was correct. Error sows division. Fake news is the source of disunity. 
That is why St. Irenaeus offered his teachings so that there could be unity in truth. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Amos, God repeatedly said to Israel, I have sent my prophets to you so that my prophets could reveal my plans to you. But you did not listen to the prophets. Sabi nga ng Diyos sa ating unang pagbasa, lagi niyang sinusugo ang mga propeta niya para ipaalala sa atin ang katotohanan. Kasi kapag wala tayo sa katotohanan, ay wala ring unity, wala ring harmony, walang kapayapaan. That is why Jesus continuously sent to us His prophets. My dear brothers and sisters, if we really want to have unity in our church, in our society, in our country, and in the world, let us first foster truth. Let us remove error, fake news in our lives because only truth can be the source of true harmony, peace, and unity. Let us pray to Jesus in our gospel today who calmed the storm and the winds through His Word. Only the Word of Truth coming from Jesus can calm the storm and the winds of fake news that is so prevalent at this time. Ang salita lamang ni Jesus na totoo at katotohanan lamang ang magpapatigil sa unos at bagyo ng kasinungalingan. Then, we can have true unity. Amen. Please stand. Even the wind and the sea obey the Son of God. With this in mind, we can pray confidently for calm in a turbulent world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, grant us your peace. Lord, grant us your peace. That the church, through its members, may be strong in faith, especially in facing the difficulties and challenges of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. That sea travelers, sailors, fishermen, and those who earn their living from the sea may feel safe and secure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. That those who doubt their faith may be strengthened through the help and support of their friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That the disabled and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in Christ's healing power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. That the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your peace. Heavenly Father, may the trials and troubles of life's storm-tossed waters purify us and bring lasting peace to our souls. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
understand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of the truth so that we may keep the Church's faith inviolate and her unity secure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Irenaeus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Irenaeus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Please stand. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the bishop Saint Irenaeus, as he maintained it even until death, 
and may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Nilikha, ipinaglihing walang sala, pusong dalisay dakila, Maria inanang awan.